Each year, two million cases of serious infections result from antibiotic resistance. Of those, 23,000 people will die. Antibiotic resistance is one of the top concerns from the CDC. What we need is to ensure that antibiotics are used promptly whenever they are needed and not when they're not needed. As you continue to expose our communities to big gun antibiotics, you're going to find resistance patterns coming up very quickly, which is then going to leave us helpless in a sense because these big gun antibiotics are no longer even effective. In September of 2014, President Barack Obama signed an executive order making antibiotic resistance a national security priority. By strengthening surveillance efforts and investing in rapid diagnostic technologies, the emergence of antibiotic resistance can be minimized and controlled. And one company's diagnostic innovations are continuously a step ahead. BioMaryU is meeting this challenge and saving lives. We are right at the forefront of being able to make a really critical, effective change in addressing some of these really urgent needs in medicine. Annually, antibiotic resistance costs the U.S. economy a staggering $20 billion in direct health care dollars. What the key is, I think, is getting that uh, identification and susceptibility uh, to the physician as quickly as possible so then they can prescribe the appropriate antibiotic and ultimately reduce the cost overall to healthcare. A lot of labs now in micro are actually implementing these faster technologies and showing that they can make a real impact on some patient care decisions. BioMiru enabled us to process more specimens than we were ever able to before to turn them around quicker, get the result to the physician faster, and ultimately what that means is better patient outcomes. There's collateral damage from prolonged antibiotic therapy, such as Clostridium difficile. For six days, I was in a complete coma. I had a mask on my face, a tube down my throat, and I was hooked up to nine different bags of antibiotics. I ended up testing positive for C. difficile, which is a deadly bacteria. I had an open wound in my abdomen and a whole supply of IVs and antifungals, antibiotics, but as a consequence, those medications, one of the continuing processes is a form of lupus. If we can cut the days a patient is on powerful antibiotics, we are accomplishing several things, one of which is protect the patient. By very rapidly knowing the predicted susceptibility profile, we could streamline or add therapy as appropriate, whereas in the past this would take much longer. We use a liquid broth-based system that increases our likelihood of finding things more quickly. Now in a matter of hours, we're able to definitively tell them which organism it is that can allow for a rapid expansion or streamlining of antimicrobial therapy as appropriate. With that added benefit of giving a faster identification, it really allows a physician to hone in on targeted therapy and make sure they're using the right antibiotic to kill that organism. Every life is precious. Every minute is critical. BioMaryU is dedicated to antibiotic stewardship by tracking resistant bacteria, improving the use of today's antibiotics, promoting the development of new antibiotics, and developing new diagnostic tests for resistant bacteria. Now is really an important time for microbiology labs to recognize and really push that they are the catapult to making this change for antibiotics because they now do have the technology to make an identification and some rapid susceptibility testing. And that connection with pharmacy, directly to the doctor, should absolutely be critical in making a change for patient therapy. It's doing the best thing for the patients, giving them the best care that they deserve.